we're going to go over XLOOKUP with multiple conditions. I have another video that shows how to use XLOOKUP with a single condition, but I received a request in how to pull records when two conditions needs to be met. So let's get started. Here we have a tab called product and the other one is called records. We want to pull the record when these two conditions are met, January and 2011. So that's equal sign, X lookup, open paren, lookup value. What are we going to look up? January and 2011. So what it's doing, it's concatenating January and 2011. So it's looking at it as just one bit of data, no spaces. Then we enter comma to move to the next part of the formula. Lookup array, where do we want to look up January and 2011? So we're going to head over to the records tab and we're going to click on D for the month because we want to look for the month here. And we want to look for the year here. So you're going to select E. So at, in this part of the formula, it's also concatenating the month with the year. Now for the next part, we hit comma, return array. Re <laughs> return array. What do you want returned to the product tab? We want the record number. So click on A, then hit comma again. If not found, what do you want to happen? I want it to say not found. So enter not found in quotation marks, comma again, match mode. I want exact match, so enter zero, comma. How do you want to search? From beginning to end, so first to last, so one, and then close paren to finish, then hit enter. Double click on the bottom right hand corner of the cell, so the formula populates the entire column. And here we have it, 1265, January 2011 is 1265, February 2016 is 18, 1628. And here we have several that are not found. So let's test out a random number. Let's try 5133. We'll copy that, go to the records tab. Let's just highlight column A, control F, and then control V, find next. All right, here it is, 5133, June 2013. 10. Now, is that the case? Yes, June 2010. So that's how you would search for next lookup with multiple conditions. Really, all it's doing is combining those two bits of data into one, and then it's comp comparing it against a new column with those two bits of data combined into one. If you have any questions about this formula, please leave a comment below. If you're not entirely sure how to implement this in your own spreadsheet, I'll be more than happy to help. Oftentimes, I will try and get back with, by that same night, central time. But if you found this tutorial helpful, please hit like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And I will see you next time.